While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. Why, yes, Peter, yes, you should. And welcome back to Mike Daniels Play Spider-Man. It's been a, it's been an interesting day today. Today was my second wedding anniversary with my wife. That was pretty cool. Uh, we basically hung out all day and played Neverwinter, and then watched wrestling. And tomorrow I go back to work. It's my first day by myself at the store I work at, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the music drops here because it sounds kind of wonky sped up because I speed up these parts now. Um, so this way you guys can kind of see if you want to kind of go piece by piece how I actually do it if you guys can't figure it out. So there's that. This one's actually pretty easy though. Happens pretty quick. But there's another one later in this episode that I cut through. So yeah, how you guys doing? A little bit of a shorter episode today. It still meets my 20 minute requirement, but just barely. Uh, by about four seconds over. So uh, yeah, um, I know a few of these episodes haven't been 20 minutes. And that's just simply because there wasn't enough it. content there to do it for a uh, justifiably. So, and I don't want any more like 40 minute episodes because those just, those are really, really long to commentate. And oh, yeah. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. So today our job is to figure out what Tombstone is hauling around in general. Uh, I believe this episode was actually filmed over two different days. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I think I mentioned it whenever I did the, in the live commentary for this episode that didn't get recorded. Um, that this was done over two different days. And if you hear suddenly a loud, like, noise in the background, uh, the heater in my apartment is ridiculously loud, so I apologize for that. Um, if you can't hear it, then great. I don't have to worry about that, but we'll see. So yeah, um, while we're swinging through New York here, uh, I just kind of wanted to, uh, yeah, just kind of talk about some things. Um, I have not filmed any more Arkham Knight as of the filming of this episode and the recording of this episode, uh, and the release of this episode, because I'm going to release this pretty much as soon as I'm done recording it. Um... <laughs> So, I do still plan on finishing the Arkham Knight series, I just kind of have dropped to one series for right now. Uh, it's easier for me to focus on playing this one game, um, or recording this one game. I have been playing other games, I've been getting ready for my EFED PGW, um, making characters for that, so that's pretty fun. Uh, I've also been playing lots of Madden, even though I haven't been recording any of it. I, uh, like I said, I kind of canceled that series. Uh, I might do one later once I'm better at the game, but right now I just feel like it's not a justifiable series I can do because I kind of suck at it. So, and no one wants to watch me lose all the time. So, <laughs> there is that. Uh, also, no one wants to watch me win constantly and unrealistically, which is also currently happening. So, yeah, it's fine. I mean,. I don't really need Madden on this channel. I really wanted Madden on this channel, but it's not something that's going to make or break my channel, I don't think. Uh, at least, not right now. So, yeah. Uh, I've also been playing Neverwinter again. Just got back into Neverwinter. Uh, I'd actually really recommend it if you guys have never played Neverwinter and you're into, like, high fantasy D&D type stuff. Um, it's quite fun. I'll just leave it at that. It's, uh, it's an MMO, though, so if you're not a big MMO person, I wouldn't recommend it there. Excuse me, it's uh, like 1 o'clock in the morning, so. <laughs> uh, which, again, as you guys, most of you know, if you've seen my, watching my channel, I can only record this late at night, so. Yeah, there's that. It's the joy of having a toddler trying to uh, bounce your time with your hobbies. So. Let me turn my headset up here a little bit because so you hear Spider Man saying. Although this isn't a part where I die, uh, I do fail kind of hard right here. Um, it's meant to be a stealth scene and I totally just screw it up. And looking back on it, I can't remember what possessed me to do what I do here. I just do it. I think I panicked because I almost get caught and I just was like, okay, I gotta like grab the first guy I see so he doesn't catch me and it fails miserably. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so um, 
I will get back into Arkham Knight probably closer to when this series comes to an end as far as recording the commentary for it goes. Simply so that I actually have more content to put out. I don't have to play content and then put out content. Hopefully I remember uh, to leave my life come on from now on. But then again, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure what you guys actually like better. Like, did you guys like this series better when the live commentary was being done? Or if you like it better now that uh, it's, it's post-gameplay commentary? Um, it's a lot harder for me to give authentic reactions this way. And a lot of the jokes got lost um, that I made. I mean, simply because I just don't remember what they were. And it's hard for me to repeat a good joke whenever I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh... Yeah, because I mean, you're in a different frame of mind when you're first playing the game as opposed to when you've already played through it a few times, which I haven't played through it a few times, I've only actually beaten the game once, but I've started a hard mode file that I never actually really did much with. Um, I think I got to the second act, that's about it. I, mean, I don't think I got that far, to be honest with you. I don't even know if I got to the first fight with Shocker yet. Anyway. Um, but regardless, like, uh, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot harder... Sorry for the stutter there. It's a lot harder to uh, focus on playing and making commentary at the same time. But at the same time, like you're getting authentic reactions that I didn't normally don't have now. So a lot of my authentic like knee jerk reaction jokes aren't in here, which is kind of a shame. So. Again, if you guys see this episode and you've been watching the series, let me know if you liked the live com or the post com better. Diox three. Isn't this the chemical tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? Who knows? <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. Drugs are bad, okay? Let's go! Come on! So his drug makes black people white? I just don't realize that. Like, it, it totally turns them white. Then again, I guess Tombstone sounds like he might have, like, kind of that ebonic y like, uh... Like, hood kind of accent. And he's white. Because of the drug, so... Who knows? I, got it. I don't know how I feel about it, making them white all of a sudden. That, that's kind of weird, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> that sounds horrible, now that I think about it. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, am I the only one who like would like there would like to be able to see spider man like drop kick a guy off a motorcycle? I think that should be like something you should be able to do right there. It's just totally just drop kick a guy off a motorcycle, like blade him. <laughs> if you guys know what I'm talking about. Cause I don't think Blade actually drop kicking him off a motorcycle. I think he more like knocked them off with a t gadget. Either way. I can't see Spider Man like totally like jumping on the you know wheel guard of somebody's motorcycle and then just like kicking them off of it. Another news. Uh, don't ride motorcycles, guys. Motorcycles are dangerous, and they shouldn't really be on the roads. If they were to meet, they'd be banned. Just saying. This is actually one of the more, like, entertaining centuries in the game whenever I played it. It focuses on a minor villain. Excuse me. Man, 1 o'clock in the morning does not do well for me right now. Um, it focuses on a minor villain, and it's just a very interesting, like, tie into the main story, but it's not something you have to do. It's totally an optional side quest. But aside from the research stations and later the challenge token missions, All right. What's in you? like the pigeons and a bunch of other stuff you have to do in this game to get the... Uh, Platinum, which I had the Platinum for this game. Uh, I show you the majority of it. The only stuff I really don't show, like I said, is like the extra, extra stuff, like the research stations and the challenge tokens, and yeah, it's it's good stuff, but 
yeah. I only sped this one up, even though it wasn't completely necessary, just to kind of get through it faster so that I could cut the episode down to be a little bit shorter. Diox 3 plus designer amphetamines. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I'm impressed. And worried. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it. With Tombstone as the sole supplier. Think I can synthesize a counter drug. Of course you can. Lab supplies in that truck. Of course there are. Time for some artisanal science. Did you say artisanal? There. Is that a Some word? Dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. If it is a word, tell me what it means in the comments, because I honestly have no idea, and I'm too lazy to look up on my phone. Because I'm recording right now. The angry drug lord drank alone. There's a poem in there somewhere. <laughs> you know better than me. Never was the literary type. Clearly. How'd you even manage to connect with Martin Lee? I'm top of my game. I don't go knocking. People find me. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out this guy's uh, pattern. But he's really not that hard of a boss. He's very similar to fighting Kingpin in the beginning of the game. I think he just hits a little bit harder. But again, maybe not. I actually don't remember how hard Kingpin actually hits him. I think about it. <laughs> That's one of the few bosses I actually get the uh You have your marketing department cook that name up? I am the Uh the finisher on the boss off. Like even the final boss has a finisher on him. Um like some of the tombstone, but I don't think I ever actually hit it. And I think most bosses and most enemies actually do have like a, a finisher animation where if you use your finisher on them. Um, but yeah, I actually think I like screwed up on a lot. I never actually got the chance to do it because I was too busy healing myself because I'm garbage at video games. So, yeah. <laughs> Like, look at me, getting punched in the face. I feel so obsolete. Also, it's different. I think I remember this in another episode, and if I did, I apologize for repeating myself. But, like, I, it's so much different now, watching the combat from me then, as opposed to how I do it now, like, when I actually play the game. Because it's, like, way different. Like, I have different strategies I use now. Like, I would have done this fight way different, most likely, if I had actually, like... How did I survive that? I took, like, no damage there, right? That's strange. Anyway, uh, like... There are just different strategies that I use for Spider-Man now that I probably would have done differently with this fight. And when they finally do come out with New Game Plus, and you actually have access to all your abilities, I'm assuming what's going to happen, uh, you're going to have access to everything you unlocked in the previous game, at the beginning of the game, hopefully with some bonus content, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of these fights will be easier, but they'll probably be hard at the same time, because... I mean, I don't know. I kind of hope that with they, since they didn't have New Game Plus off the bat, and they're having time to bring come to bring it out, I'm thinking that maybe they should. Excuse me. Think that maybe they should like change how some of the bosses fight. Like, i.e., make them a little bit harder, or make them hit harder. Have them change their 
their system up, so to speak, like how they actually fight. Like, maybe give them new attacks, make some things that worked before not work this time. And if you're wondering what I was doing right there, just not fighting back, I would, I believe my strategy there was I was going to try and dodge him as much as I could to get uh, focused so I could heal myself. Only to find out it wasn't the best plan. Because <laughs> he literally takes most of that back and I beat him in like three hits. Or not beat him, but I, I get to the next part of the phase in like three hits. Fire! Ah, uh, Fire! I wonder if that drug would work on Luke Cage. Like the Annie drug. The huge. Some of Spider-Man's phrases in this game just hurt my brain. Here I'm definitely trying to get some uh, focus to get my health back. I almost died quite a few times in this fight. Like, looking back on it now, like, I think I was struggling more than I remember struggling because I beat it on the first try. So, like, once I was done, I was like, oh, that wasn't so bad. But now that I'm watching myself do it, I, I look like I'm struggling. Like, you see me trying different gadgets here. And this is what I was talking about like a minute ago with saying like hey uh I would do things differently like that was the first time I really tried to use a different gadget on him aside from the one that I had equipped at the beginning and clearly the web bomb like works on him so I should have been using that from the beginning as opposed to just you know doing my whole dodge and wait for spider to shoot webs in his face strategy because this fight probably would have gone a whole lot faster had I done it that way And then again, I only had four web bombs at this point, so I don't know. Like, great challenge. You and I are very different people. Yeah, it's just it's strange. Like, I probably would have tried the Electro webs on him if I had been doing this now, which I don't think you actually see me do here, like, at all. Yeah. Can we say your crazy drug lord days are done? Please? Sure. For now. Hell of a run, though. <laughs> Not quite how I'd describe it. Hmm. That's new. Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, you know, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death just ups the thrill. Hell of a left hook. Can't wait for the rematch. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Oh, Spidey. Alright, guys. Well... That brings us to the end of this episode. Hopefully I'll start getting these out more consistently again now that I started my new job and it'll be easier for me to actually have like a schedule and struggle a little bit less with my own personal like mental issues. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get another episode out here pretty quick. Um, but until then, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.